Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Day Z is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work down. The first one is all about, we have to always start with a simple restart. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the start icon on the power icon or as you can see, click on the start icon. Go over here and click on the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launching the game. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now we are in the Steam. So launching the game from Steam will be causing the issue up. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we just need to go over here, right click, go to the properties. Now from here, go to installer file and we need to check where is the game is installed. And as you can see right now, the game is installed on uh, local disk E. So what I need to do is just go over here, close the Steam, go over here in the file explorer. And now from here, we have to navigate to this PC, go over here into local disk E, open local disk E. Now go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game. That is, we have to go to Daisy, select this one. And now from here, we have to find the application. So as you can see, this is the application. So this is the application. So this is the .exe. And now from here, we need to launch the game. This is what we have to do. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to run the game as an administrator. And also, it is quite important that we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game as an administrator, we just need to go over here, right click, go to show more option, go to the properties. Now from here, go to compatibility and we need to click on run this program in the compatibility mode. And we have to set this to Windows 7. We have to go for apply or do we have to set this to Windows 8 and we have to go to apply. Next one, we need to click on run this program as an administrator and go to apply again and go for OK. And once it has been done, we just need to close this and we have to go back to the Steam and we need to try launch the game and we need to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So we just need to go to the documents. So go over here in the my documents. Now navigate to the documents and here go to my games. So here it will be having a separate folder for Daisy when you start playing the game and saving each level of the game. But right now we don't have because we have not saved it. So when you find the folder here for the game, just, just delete the folder and keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions in the game. That is what you have to do. Once we are done with this one, just move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. We just need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. Now if you just click on this one. And from here, what we need to do is just click on system and security. Go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to Daisy. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to Daisy. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on private and public. So this is what we have to do. Now it is, we have to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes on private and public. So once the game is added to the .exe, is added to the uh, Windows Defender Firewall, we have to cross check. So if the file is not there, we need to add the .exe. And once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to a next step. That is all about what we need to do. So we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So if any external devices or joystick is connected, we need to unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to check. Still, if we are having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration. We just need to click on this one. And now we just need to go over here, go to the services and go to disable or or to hide all Microsoft services. And we have to go to apply and we have to go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. We have to do a restart. Once a restart is done, we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to give commands in the launch option. And also we need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. Make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game. If it is turn it on, we have to turn this off and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to go over here. We need to try with giving the commands of the launch option. So the first command is we have to try with DX11 
or we have to if bx11 is not working we have to try with dx12 if bx12 is not working we have to try with d3 d2 so once d3 d2 is not working if bx12 or bx11 is not working just close everything and we have to close this and we have to try lodge the game make sure it's all about what we need to do we just need to close all the overlay application so just go over here right click and go to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually affecting the performance so that is why we are ending up in crashing issue so we just need to remove all the unwanted things for example overclay over clocking and overlaying application like this code revert unit msa afterburner all these things should be removed from here once everything is removed we just need to close this and try launch the game still if you're having the trouble what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for loop advanced system setting just click on this one we have to go over here go to advanced click on this one go to the settings and we have to go to the advanced go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is on local disk e so i have to select this one go to the custom size and set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we just need to go over here we need to search for the calculator and we have to select this one and now we need to give the values over here so if we need to do a calculation so first we need to type the ram of my computer that is 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you this value so copy this and we have to paste it Next one, we have to go to the maximum size that is 16 GB into 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it. And once every, every value has been set, we just need to close this and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So just go over here. Now, if you're on the NVIDIA, just select everything. So right, we are on the GeForce, we have to select this. GeForce 16 series, we have to select this one. And we are on the GeForce GTS 1650. And we have to go over here and select Windows 11. And we have to go over here and find search. And right now, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to download the game. And if you're on the driver version 566.36, and we have to download this one. And if you're on the MB, just go over here, select everything. You have to select everything and go over here. And you have to select everything and download it from the official site based on your PC's configuration. And also you have to try install Microsoft Visual C++. So once you're done with this one, we need to move to the next step. So next step is all about, we need to try verify game file, which is a very important step, which is going to cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties, go to the installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So this is going to take a little bit of time and afterwards I'll be showing you a bunch of steps that can be done hereafter.
So once all the firewalls are successfully validated, we just need to close this and try launching the game. And now the last and the least step is all about. We need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And we have to reinstall it back, but we should not be installing it back on the same local disk. We have to try either local disk D or we have to try local disk C. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on these kind of videos. And don't forget to visit our website gamezeros.com. That's it. Bye.